Hey folks, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com and I have a flying machine! Bonus points if you get that reference. It's an easy one. Yes, this is my Great Plains Yak 55 that I've been building and it is finally flight ready, I think. Um, everything is hooked up. I have balanced it. The front to rear weight balance is is pretty much spot on the left to right balance is off just a tiny tiny bit it's it's, it's literally like a couple millimeters uh, to the right I did add a little bit of weight uh, onto the left wing tip but everything is hooked up I've even got it turned on here so you can see ailerons working elevator working rudder working and even the uh, even the motors working and I've done a little bit of experimentation I had, I had bought a, a, a whole handful of different propellers to try out different stuff um, starting with something just a little bit shallower than the stock prop at the, the stock size then going shallower still going down an inch and going down another inch um, Based on my static test, I would say that for this motor, I need something shallower still. Uh, this right here is an eight by six. I would like to try probably an eight by four, eight by 4.5, something in that range. Um, at the static test at about 50% throttle, the motor, this is a fairly short can of motor. Uh, it's only 20, I think 22 millimeters long. I do have another motor the same 28 millimeter diameter that's uh, either two or four millimeters longer I think it's four millimeters longer so that would have more power but then that would upset upset the weight balance a little bit more I think for this motor I just want to go with a, a shallower prop if I want to do um, if I want to do some heavy-duty stuff with this even static test 50% throttle it seems to do just fine the motor is not getting too hot but if I take it up uh, Take it up a little bit of a notch uh, to the point where it has thrust equal to its weight because uh, this thing can very easily hover then the motor starts to heat up a little bit so I'm, i want to work on that a little bit um, a lot of people have suggested that i uh, reinforce leading edges of things and the, the bottom edge of the fuselage with uh, uh, some, just some extra clear tape so i have done that I've got clear tape going all the way across the leading edge, leading edge edges of both wings. We've got clear tape uh, in a couple spots on the fuselage up here at the front in a couple layers and then another couple layers where it would uh, where it would skid where it lands. I also trimmed off just a little bit from the bottom of the rudder here because I didn't like the fact that that was actually sticking down a little bit. It was a little bit lower than the fuselage when this thing lands. I don't want it to land um, on the rudder. So I trimmed that up a little bit. I might actually angle the tip a little bit more also uh, just to give me a little bit more you know, breathing room if I come in a little bit nose, uh, nose high. Uh, looking at the other side of it, here you can see the electronics in place. Here's the Thunder Power batteries in place. Um, speed control is is overpowered for this this plane, but it doesn't hurt to have something that's uh, that's going to be able to handle more power than you need. It just adds a little bit of unnecessary weight. Uh, it's a 30 amp speed control, and then I've got my big old eight channel Airtronics receiver in the back, and that's that's a that's a big and heavy guy, but this still ends up uh, coming to right around 13 ounces all up which is not too bad from from what I've seen uh, from other builds I'm sure if I put some effort into it I could lighten this up significantly but uh, I want it, it's it's plenty light as it is right now uh, so I'm pretty much just gonna go go with this um, I will go ahead and fly it with this configuration um, like I said I do want to get a shallower prop but this should be perfectly fine for just normal normal flight uh, not doing any serious aer uh, aerobatics or anything like that so this I think is indeed ready to go and this was the the cool thing here is that it's about 
two thirds throttle, a little, little less than two thirds throttle, I think. Let me see. She does want to take off. Um, I would, I haven't even, I haven't even tested full throttle yet. It would, I know it would be a little bit rough on the motor uh, doing just a, a static test at, at full throttle, especially with that steep uh, prop on there. But uh, plenty of power for sure. Uh, feels pretty sturdy. I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, happy with the, the balance. And I think this thing is ready to go. So the next video that you see of me and this plane right here should be the made in flight. Or rather be made in crash. Uh, certainly not expecting to do well with this thing at all. Uh, having no experience with the stuff. I mean, I've played around with with plenty of toy grade RCs. You know, I can I can operate a a, a craft in the air a little bit. <laughs> the basic uh, the basic uh, understanding of flight mechanics, and I've also uh, played with flight simulators since I was. Pretty young, uh, 80 to 86, 12 megahertz PC system, monochrome monitor. Uh, the game was uh, Jet Fighter, the original Jet Fighter. That's when I got most of my my early flight training in, and I've also uh, been doing some uh, some practicing in real flight. I have an old old version of real flight, so I'm not. Uh, I'm not going into this completely cold and completely inexperienced. I've, I've logged plenty of hours uh, with, with the sim, but I'm still not expecting anything good to come out of my maiden flight because, I mean, come on, it's my maiden, my maiden flight, not just the plane's maiden flight. So next video will be of that. I will try to take it easy to begin with, um, just do some flat um, runs uh, straight and then land till I get the, the trims figured out and, get a good feel for the the throws on everything and the sensitivity of it and then who knows if it's still repairable I'm able to put it back together with duct tape and, and glue and stuff I might actually get a flight in so wish me luck um, if you have any uh, questions about this build um, or if you have anything to participate to to offer uh, in terms of just info for folks who are fairly new, like me, to RC aircraft, please do stop by the RC Airplanes and Helicopters forum at ultimatercom uh, I've been into cars and trucks uh, for quite a number of years now, so um, I've managed to uh, collect together a nice community of, of folks and a lot of information being shared for land vehicles, aircraft. We could definitely use more input in that in that area so if you want to stop by and help out with a relatively fledgling uh, community of, of air folks interested in aircraft please do appreciate it very much please subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video take care